My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. This will be the last episode of a mini series regarding fire, the fire custom uh, weapon. So we have the fire rod and the lantern that can shoot fire and fire can kill and hurt enemies. And in this episode, we will see how to better customize the reaction of enemies to fire. Um, so far, it is possible to configure how many life points enemies uh, will lose when they are hurt by fire, but uh, in reality, we often want something more flexible. There are enemies that, who will ignore fire completely or who will have some other types of reactions than losing life points. For instance, if we create here, let's say uh, an ice enemy. So we have blue slimes for that. And maybe also a fire enemy, red slime. Um, we will see how to make all of these three enemies react completely differently to fire. Okay, so our fire is a custom weapon. Maybe you remember how to customize the built-in attacks. Uh, if not, uh, let's, let's just refresh your memory. For instance, if I shoot an arrow to to this enemy, he will lose some life points, and if I hit it with the sword, he will also lose some life points. But all of this can be configured with set attack consequence. So this function set attack consequence only works for, for built-in attacks, built-in weapons. So that's not the one that we will use for fire, but we will implement something very similar. And the first parameter is the built-in attack and the second one is whatever reaction we want to configure and it can be a number of life points but also a lot of other things. For instance, we can say that when the enemy receive, receives an arrow, so a built-in arrow, it, instead of losing some number of life points, we can pass a string here with the value immobilized and then he will be temporarily immobilized and after a few seconds he can walk again. So again this works only for a small list of built-in attacks, uh, the, the sword, thrown items like bushes or, or vases built-in arrows and other built-in entities that uh, are kind of deprecated. So this is the built-in fire and this is not, uh, this does not apply to our fire because our fire was implemented as a custom entity. So it's not the built-in fire uh, recognized by the engine. Uh, which means we cannot use set attack consequence to uh, customize the fire Run reaction of enemies and in episode uh, for that reason in episode number 55 we created a function set fire reaction in meta enemy.lua that can uh, indeed customize the number of life points that the enemies will lose and by default it's two so here our global has uh, three life points, but we can say set fire reaction. Let's say that they will lose this time three points instead of two. And this time it will be killed in only one hit. Okay, and so yeah, again we have this set attack consequence that works for built-in um, attacks and our custom function here that we created in enemy.lua that will be specific to fire and what we want to do in this episode is to 
similarly to set attack consequence we want this parameter to uh, we want to support not only numbers but also uh, basically the same parameters as, as in set attack consequence ignored protected immobilized or even a function to to be able to configure whatever we want actually <laughs> so uh, to be more clear we have here an ice slime and here a red slime and I will show you how, how they behave so the red slime will shoot some ice cubes and I, I will be frozen if I touch them and the red slime is of course an enemy here slime uh, cyan and the ice ball is another model of enemy but probably we want the red slime to be I mean the yeah the weak the weak point the the weak feature of, of red of blue slimes is fire so we want fire to instantly to, to kill the red slime the blue slime in, in only one hit just like we, we did for the other enemy actually but we also want the um, wait the teleporter is not working here okay it was not placed correctly what I'm trying to say is that we want the ice balls to also have some custom behavior please shoot the ice balls because right now if I hit the ice balls they will play a heart animation like any other enemy which is a little bit strange let me try to show you okay <laughs> it's hard to show but they are they play the heart animation when I hit them with fire uh, which is not really not really great and for the red slime this guy shoots some fire some flames so the red slime is here slime red and flame is here it's another enemy so don't confuse our fire with the flame enemy but um, it will really look strange that fire can be killed by fire but it can <laughs> so we want the flames of the red slime to completely ignore the fire our fire and probably we also want the red slime to be protected against fire so to play like a small shield sound when they receive our fire and also notice that when you hit the flames they are the heart animation is played at another place and this is because uh, enemies are usually pushed back when they are hurt and that's also what happens with the uh, blue slime with the ice cubes and that's why I, it was so hard for me to show you that uh, they were ac they actually were playing the the hurt animation anyway um, this is just an example of enemies where we want f for which we want to customize the um, the damage the fire reaction okay let's start with the um, red slime so we would like to be able to write set fire reaction for the red slime uh, again so far we can only pass enemies but we will make some code to support this set fire reaction um, ignored or protected or immobilized or even a function but for this one slime or, um, red slime we said we want it protected so it which means the fire will not hurt the slime but we um, a shield sound will be played then for the flame we said we wanted to ignore the fire completely ignore our fire okay and for the blue slime slime is 
we want oops we want set the fire reaction to be um, yeah more life points than the default because it's a nice slime so uh, it's its weakness is fire so let's say it will always be killed in one hit so self get life which is four by default I mean which is four always and for the ice ball I hope it's not too hard to follow but for the ice ball we said we want the ice ball to immediately be removed from the map without playing any hurt animation so this is the case where we want to pass a function actually and that function will just do enemy remove so um, now we just have to update our set fire reaction function to be able to accept not only a number like in global but also a string protected or ignored or immobilized and also um, a callback function okay so let's go we have some work to do and set fire reaction is defined in enemy.lua it's defined on the meta table of enemies which means all enemies will have such a function and I would like to rename this parameter because it's no longer necessarily some life points but something more general that we can call fire reaction if you want or consequence um, I, I want to call it consequence because it will be uh, similar to, to this one, the built-in set attack consequence. Okay, so it does not much except storing the fire reaction in the enemy object. And when is this used? So we have to go to the fire custom entity script. And it's used in, used in the collision test of our fire when the fire detects detects an enemy for now it just unconditionally hurts the enemy with the number of life points and that's what we want to change we will need a new function here to to check um, all possible uh, fire reactions and and to react up, um, accordingly so we can call this new function receive attack consequence Again, I'm using on purpose a very similar name to set attack consequence because it takes the same consequence parameter. But instead of setting the uh, consequence, it will inflict that to the enemy. Okay, so now the last step is to write this receive attack consequence function for all enemies and now we should know that when you want to add a function to all enemies you can add it to the meta tables to the meta table of enemies so i'm back to the meta slash enemy dot lua script and let's go receive attack consequence so the idea is that all custom weapons of your projects and of your project and not only fire will be able to to call this and now you we have to check the type of uh, this consequence parameter again it can be a number we will really do the same as in the documentation here it can be a number a string or a function uh, yeah so if how do you test the, the type of a Lua variable you can just call type which is a, a Lua built-in function if type of consequence is number this is the case that was supported so far we will hurt the enemy 
with uh, that number of life points. So this is what we were doing so far, and now we add support of other types of consequences. If it is a string, then well, we have three possible strings, ignored, protected, or immobilized. Custom we won't need actually to implement it because uh, it's, it's really no longer useful since Solaris 1.6, because now we can support directly a function. It is the same purpose, but easier to use. Uh, but first, um, we have these three possible strings, which can be um, ignored. So ignored is actually the easiest one, because there is no nothing to do. We just return. Protected. We don't do much. We just play a sound. Um, and if you want to play the same sound as the built-in behaviors, it's sort tapping. And the third one is immobilized. That's not very hard to do because there is just a built-in function, enemy immobilized. Otherwise, we can show an error. Wrong attack consequence. Um, like this. And last case, if this is a function, then well, we just call that function. And we can also add an error case here. Something like that if you want. Okay, let's try. I will I will keep this code visible for you wh while I'm testing the feature. Okay, I will try to hurt the ice balls first and see. Let's kill the global here. Okay, now they they silently disappear when they are hit by our fire, and they disappear with with a noisy animation when when they hit a wall which is fine. Um, okay, I think I killed the the blue slime in one hit because we configured the damage to be like that. And now let's test the uh, red slime. So now I'm, when I'm hit the flames, nothing happens. And when I hit the red slimes, we, we hear this shield sound, uh, and we hear it repeatedly, with, if it, which maybe you don't like, but this can, this can be fixed if you want. I won't do it in this, in this tutorial, because it's, I think you've had enough, but the important thing is that now you can really customize your, uh, yeah, the damage inflicted by by your custom weapons. Um, maybe you want the our fire to to even traverse the enemy's flames without um, without stopping because right now it stops because in fire.lua we unconditionally stop the fire movement as soon as an enemy is touched, no matter what is the actual the actual fire reaction. So we can slightly improve that by uh, saying storing the fire reaction in a variable and testing if fire reaction was anything else than ignored, then 
we stop the movement. So let's try again. Now if I hit the flames with my fire, it should traverse them. It should ignore them and, and completely traverse them. Yes, it does. Cool. Um, I think that's it for this episode. As a summary, we were able to customize differently the uh, what happens when fire touches uh, five different kinds of enemies. So these three ones plus the flames plus the um, ice cubes, ice balls, and we can customize them in a very similar way as this built-in feature. We can set a number of life points, or ignored, protected, or immobilized, or even a function. And the function uh, case is especially useful for, for buses often. Mm, it's very common that buses will ignore most attacks and react in a very custom way to the, to whatever weakness uh, they have. You can make um, attacks that will trigger cutscenes, that will uh, trigger a, a, a more advanced um, heart animation or something. But here we kept it simple. We simply passed a function that will instantly remove the enemy because we wanted to, to avoid the heart animation in our small example. So that's how you can do a function that takes parameters of different type. It can take our, the set fire reaction function can take a number or a string or even a function. So I hope that was helpful. We did a lot of code. It, it was maybe more advanced than, than most tutorials. Um, let me show you the yeah, the receive attack consequence function again. Um, yeah, maybe it was more complicated than usual, but I think you, you have enough knowledge now to, to understand this kind of stuff. And more importantly, I think it should be very useful to you to really customize what happens to enemies when they receive your custom attacks. But don't hesitate to come on our Discord to get some help if you need. And yeah, I hope you will have a lot of fun prog programming your enemies and your custom attacks, your custom weapons with custom entities. Yeah, that's a, lo a lot of customized uh, things <laughs> in the latest tutorials. Thank you all for watching this one and I will see you next time. Bye.